<laughs> Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and I have received a most magnificent package from Switzerland. My pew pews have arrived from Pewtech, and I'm gonna play with them. Uh, still waiting on the second battery to charge, but I will be able to open them up and uh, tinker with them, and then there will be, there will be much, oh, there's gonna be stuff. First of all, I wanted to talk about the boxes. Look at them. There, they've got the logo spray painted on it in gold. They're, they're actually sealed. I mean, that's, that's just classy stuff. It's the little details that make the big difference. All right, I want to open up this one because this is the particularly special one. Oh, look at that. Some assemblage acquired, apparently. Battery's charged. Time for blaster number two. Behold, dual matching pew pews. Gander upon them and despair. <laughs> to the range. Right. We're here on the range again. Uh, in the intro, those were both 10 round mag dumps in that split second each, which it, these things are really quite ridiculous and magnificent. I got the 10 rounds to start with when they're on the holster so they're not sticking out weird. Talk about that later. Um, for most of this demo, I'm gonna be switching to 18s because I got a bunch of them. And uh, we're gonna plink. We are gonna plank uh, with the left-handed one, because I like it. And we're gonna switch to, we'll start with uh, semi-auto mode. We'll go into all the details on that, but it's now on semi, so every trigger pull will fire one dart. And then switch to burst mode. And uh, it's currently set on a three round burst. Goes from real quick. And finally, we can switch to auto. And I have it set at max uh, rate of fire, which is something like 40 darts a second, so it should pretty much drain this in a trigger pull. Not quite. Oh, still got two rounds. <laughs> I'm gonna set up the, uh, the bottles and see if I can get them all doing burst, because that should be fun. Lord, this thing goes through ammo quick. All right, we're gonna go back to three round burst mode and see if I can get the models. He popped back up, that is so rude. All right, I'm gonna go load two magazines and dual mag dump full auto at the bottles, see if I hit anything at all. My money is on none, but place your bets on how many bottles I'll manage to get mag dumping two 18 round magazines. Duel. Right, bottles are back up. Two full magazines. I've, they're both full auto, but I've reduced it to 20 rounds per second. So I'll get to, it'll take more than a second to dump both mags. And uh, let's see how many bottles I can hit before the mags go empty. Here we go. one. I call it a win. Right, now to the shop to talk about these magnificent pieces of hardware. Right, for those of you who are wondering, yes, they are every bit as magnificent as they appear. This is what I have been wanting in this hobby for a very long time. 
half dart select fire pistols and they are even far more magnificent than I had ever expected and having a uh, mirrored pair right and left is just the coolest thing ever um, and I really want to thank Pewtech for making that happen when I reached out to him and said hey I'm interested in, in getting one uh, could you possibly make a left-handed one his response was basically I've been expecting you I've already started working out how to do that um, and I asked if I could then get you know a matching pair and he actually has a, a one per customer rule right now because of the, the scarcity of them. Um, and I didn't know that at the time, or I wouldn't have asked for two. But I asked for two, and he decided that since I was getting the first left-handed one, and, and um, he was willing to, to let me acquire a second one. And I am eternally grateful for that, but having, having a matching pair is just way too cool. Um, and I really appreciate the extra work that he went into in making left-handed one, because it's more than just swapping the, the, the print. There's also some differences in the code that had to be done, and probably in the wiring, and and it's, it's just really, really appreciate that he was willing to do that for me. So, that out of the way, let's talk about features. So we'll start by talking about the ergonomics. Uh, these are absolutely some of the most comfortable blasters I have ever held. I have large hands, and these are absolutely the perfect size for my hands. My fingers match perfectly with the grooves there, and they are just just absolutely amazingly comfortable. Uh, large trigger well, large enough for you to, to wear gloves if you felt like it. The magazine release can be reached either with your trigger finger or with your thumb if you're going from the other side. So it's a, a wide magazine release that can be uh, gotten from either side, which is super, super cool. The controls for the electronic system, there's a screen here and a hat switch here that you use to cycle through it all. To turn the blaster on, you simply hold down the trigger and it comes on and then you use your thumb to, to cycle through all of the options. There are some advanced features that when you acquire one, you get added to the Pew Pew Users Discord, and they've got the full manual for all the advanced features, but uh, you can choose the mode, whether it's single, burst, or select fire. You can change the power. I currently have it turned way down to 20%. And, um... Oh, there we go. Single fire on 20%. Uh, I can switch it to burst. And it's currently set for a five round burst. You can change the burst, you can change the FPS, uh, and then you can go to full auto and it will do a full mag dump before stopping. And you can set what the full magazine is. Um, so it'll, it'll do a mag dump and then we'll stop firing so you know that you're, you're out of ammo. Uh, and so you're not wasting energy on, on empty magazines and, and stuff like that. So uh, just amazing features. Uh, there is a, an ability to lock the, the screen so you can't accidentally make changes just by bumping the switch. But uh, you can still change the, the fire mode simply by pushing forward. And here's the difference between the right and the left, is it's forward on both, but that's different on the buttons. One would be to the right and one would be to the left. And he made that change, so it's not forward on this one and back ones on this one, which would, it was what it would be if they were perfectly mirrored. So, again, just a little extra difference that he made, so it's forward on both. And you can now cycle, so now it's on single. And the little indicator light on the back, which is your power light, also turns green for single. If you uh, push forward for two seconds, it will switch to burst. Push forward for two more seconds, uh, the light changes on both. Now it's it's amber, and now it's on full auto. And that's just really convenient to be able to easily switch modes and tell that what mode it's in from the back. So if you could have either the blasters could be down in your holster and you could easily do it, or you could have them drawn and leveled and still be able to easily switch. And that's just, again, a brilliant design uh, and I really, really like. I, they do also have uh, auto turn off. They'll turn themselves off if they go idle for a certain amount of time, but you can disable that feature. All the features of the blaster can be adjusted, which is really, really cool. Uh, it does uh, come, or I don't know if it actually comes with them, but um, it has mountings for holster, uh, as well as Lotus. This is the standard distance for Lotus, as well as the old holstered system. Uh, there also, you uh, have the, the newer, smaller ones can also be used. The, the screws that are holding this plate on can also be used to mount the smaller holster ones, uh, because that's the other standard. And the fact that both, again, both are available is just really, really cool. The 
front here is anodized aluminum for the uh, flywheel covers, which act both as protection for the flywheels, but also as a heat sink for the brushless motors, which is just cool. Battery is in the grip. You've got a spring-loaded release here that allows you to open the battery housing. Uh, it uses an, an uh, 850-3S motor uh, with an XT30 connector, the smaller connectors. Those are pretty cool. And just, uh, oh, everything about it is magnificent. The only complaint that I had, and it was a minor complaint, and it was fixed within hours because the Discord customer service, his customer service on his Discord is ridiculous and amazing. Um, it didn't have a flared magwell. It actually kind of had the reverse of a flared magwell where you can see the 45 degree angle that he has on the edge here extended along the magwell. So it was actually flaring away. And it had a ten I had a tendency to catch the, the feed lips on the, the magazine and it would get stuck. Um, so I reached out on the Discord and said, hey, has anyone designed a, uh, a snap-on flared magwell piece like we have for the Strife and various other blasters? And uh, they said that it had been discussed, but no one had actually done it. Um, and I, I, I requested, hey, could, you know, would it be possible? Um, and he said, well, you know, I'll, I'll get around to it when I have time and, like, a half hour later, he had three different versions <laughs> already designed. Uh, and I took w one of the designs that he had and made some modifications to it, though please don't ask me why, because if he ever finds out, he will probably demand that I give them back. Um, I came up with a design that I really liked that lines up with all of the original uh, geometry on all of the sides, has a 45 degree flare train, and then it's, I just printed it and glued it on. It's not a load-bearing section, so glue should be fine. And now I have a beautiful flared magwell. I also actually really like the accent color on the bottom of the magwell, as opposed to it going from orange magwell to orange magazine. So I really just, yeah. The fact that the one flaw that I had was easily fixed within an hour of me reaching out was ridiculous and amazing. Uh, it is designed to take um, Talon magazines. Now these smaller 10 round ones, which are really nice and compact, uh, won't fall out when you uh, push the magazine release. You have to pull it out. Whereas the larger ones, the 18s, will just drop as well as the, or the 15s, the 18s, and the ridiculously mag massive and hilarious Tachi mags will also just drop out. So it will take any of the various Talon family and works quite beautifully. Um, again, they, they are everything that I dreamed they would be and more. Absolutely love them. I'm looking forward to running them. I ran them at my, my birthday party. I'll be taking them with me on most of the travels that I do. Um, I do have a whole rig that I built around them that I will be showing off in its own video in the very near future. So stay tuned for that and stay tuned for much more on these in action. Hopefully they are just, just gorgeous. Now let me know what you guys think of them. Uh, one concern obviously is the, the profile is a little bit, a little bit realistic. Um, that's why I went with as much orange as I did. There's there's lots and lots of orange on there, but they are still shaped the way they are. And so there may be places where I wouldn't be able to bring these, and I understand that, and and we'll make sure that any place I'm bringing them is okay with them. But uh, loving them, absolutely loving them, and looking forward to having fun with them. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, as far as I know, the only way to get a hold of one is to reach out to Pew Tech, uh, either on, on Discord or uh, Instagram and get on the list. It's a long list and the list keeps getting longer, but uh, absolutely worth it in my opinion. I had no qualms hurling vast sums of money to Switzerland <laughs> to get my hands on these. It was my Christmas slash birthday present to myself, along with the Lego AT-AT. -AT. Um, so yeah, kind of kind of kind of blew my uh, my Nerf fancy blaster budget for a while, but absolutely worth it. So there you have it. The Pew Pew, a matching reversed pair, and oh, so good. <laughs> Thank you for watching.